Hey everybody, we are live here. Um, I'm here with Colby Busey and I'm Melissa Rao. Um, Colby is the new car inventory manager at Thomas Cumberland. So he's actually my crew chief. I got to meet him and get to know him and his family a little bit this year. So I thought it'd be really cool to tie our careers together and talk a little bit about how we got involved with Thomas and how we got involved with each other. So I guess we'll start this interview off with, so being involved with racing, did you know Mark Thomas from racing or how did you get to know him? Uh, yeah, I already knew Mark uh, for several years and knew of Th Thomas for several years. Uh, my grandparents um, bought cars from the Bedford store, um, Oldsmobiles, whenever they still had Oldsmobiles. Um, my parents then started buying cars, aunt and uncle, that kind of stuff. Uh, they bought from Dan Vent for many years at the, at the Bedford dealership and uh, just really liked like, you know, how close-knit that they were with the, the, uh, the community and um, how welcome they, they always were whenever we went to the, to the store. Um, so they just got to know them through that, through that. Very cool. So then from there, how did you actually get involved with Thomas and start your employment process? Um, back in 2000, uh, I was working for a company uh, here in, in Cumberland that was called Beaterlack. Um, they made blankets and uh, Thomas was looking uh, to open up a dealership in Cumberland and ended up putting in an application. They had a little job fair uh, downtown, put in an application, um, got a phone call back from them to detail cars. Um, so I uh, started in September of 2000 uh, at the Bedford store, worked up there for a month until the, the Cumberland store opened um, in October, um, and I've been there ever since, so next year we're starting 18th year. Wow. Time okay. flies when you're having fun. <laughs> Hell, you must love them then. <laughs> okay, so I'll take a step back and we'll talk a little bit about how you got involved with racing. Okay. Um, I've got two cousins that uh, have actually been into in, racing for many years. Um, Donnie. Uh, has, uh, hasn't been racing for a few years, but he started uh, racing back in the 70s uh, when, when Cumberland opened up and got back into it again around 1988 and raced in Bedford. Um, and I got brought into it with the family right around 1989. Um, and he was racing Semel 8s at uh, Bedford Speedway. Um, then Cumberland ended up opening back up in the mid 90s. Um, so we were racing on Friday night and Saturday night um, and then my other cousin uh, still races Brian Lowry uh, he races the limited late model I'm sure everybody knows him as Mopar and uh, the blue and pink car all, every year um, so just throughout the years um, Donnie moved from uh, the Semolates into the E-Mods uh, in the probably the late 90s I'd say um, when the Semolates started going away um, and I also helped a, a, a super late model driver, uh, Jeff Thomas from Oakland. I um, was on his team for a few years. Uh, we raced at Cumberland, Elkins, uh, Roaring Knob, uh, several other, other places, but uh, mainly been just in the Cumberland and Bedford area. Very cool. <laughs> so you've been in racing for a long time. So it's funny that we both have been racing for, in racing for so long. My dad raced, we were actually looking through some pictures here saw some old pictures of my dad which was really cool um, but we finally got connected this year um, did you want to touch on that a little bit on how we got connected yeah I've been uh, taking Cameron my son uh, to the races the last few years and we usually just go and sit in the stands and uh, ended up uh, talking to Alyssa uh, the week before um, we actually were gonna go this summer to Cumberland to see if she was uh, coming in for the uh, mid-Atlantic race mm -hmm. um, that Cumberland had and uh, we wanted to get a couple of t-shirts from her and ended up going to Pitts and, and talking to her dad for, for quite a while and uh, Cameron, he wanted to get a picture taken with you and mm -hmm. um, I'd, I'd asked, you know, what your dad had mentioned that it was just you two mm -hmm. all, all the time going yep. to the track and uh, family ordeal again, you know, just mm -hmm. the same way that uh, I got started and uh, I think I messaged you or yeah, about the week or so later, mm -hmm. and said, you know, hey, if you ever need any help, let me know. You know, be interested in getting back into it. And I think we've 
been going since then. Yeah, yeah. you've been going since. We went to where? Eldora. Uh, almost every Bedford show you were with us. Port yeah. Royal, Winchester, Winchester yeah. two times. So he's been helping out a lot throughout the season. Um, and you were actually the one that introduced me to Mark Thomas and got me connected with all things automotive. So do you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, Mark's always uh, always been into to racing uh, ever since I've known him. Uh, doing things in the community. Uh, I know one of the big things was the Christmas event that they had um, at the Bedford dealership. Um, had uh, had a few guys come in that were NASCAR drivers. I think Bill Elliott was there, um, Mike Wallace, uh, Jimmy Spencer, and being from, from PA. Uh, and of course, um, he was a car owner with, uh, with Tom Peck for, for a few years uh, he was in the Bush Grand National Series uh, and actually did pretty well with that. Um, having a shop there in Bedford, uh, across from what's now Walmart. Um, so. Uh, he works pretty passionate about anything that he uh, that he gets interested in, especially racing. Um, and I had mentioned to him uh, to see if he'd be interested in doing anything with, as far as sponsorship went with you, and it uh, he was glad to jump at the idea. <laughs> you know, he, I think he's been been pretty excited about it ever since, and uh, I think it'll work out well for everybody. Yeah, I know that we're really excited to finally get that All Things Automotive logo on our car. <laughs> sure, yeah. But, yeah, so this is Colby again. This is my crew chief. We're looking forward to another good season. You'll see us around the racetrack. Um, just a couple updates. We're actually going to be at the New Year's Eve party um, in downtown Bedford this Sunday from 5 to 8. They're going to have games and interviews and videos going on. Um, and then at 8 o'clock, uh, at 8 o'clock, sorry, you're, we're going to drop a race car. Um, and then you can end your New Year's the rest of your night your own way. Um, but I will be there. Um, I know a couple other drivers are showing up. Bo Aiki, who is behind the camera right now, will be there. <laughs> um, so make sure you stop in. I will have a couple All Things Automotive t-shirts to give away to a couple lucky fans and um, some of my t-shirts as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this interview. Thank you for doing this. Thank and you. we will talk to you guys again soon. Thanks. Bye.